Howdy caddies. Aloha and all that sort of jazz. How are we going? Hope you're good. Time for another weekly walkabout. I'm in the jewellery cabinet. And Vanessa's yelling out to me. There's still jewellery we've got to put in there. But I'll show you that before we finish. There's heaps of nice stuff this week. 18 karat gold fob watch. Love little Italian micro mosaic box. Carved ivory. Beautiful little necklace. Carved ivory letter opener. More fob watches. Heaps of coins. Big sterling silver sugar shaker or something. Um, Palak, I think this is. This Russian little box, hand painted. Looks to be by them. It's upside down, but there'll be a better picture of it on the website. Some nice silver and coins. Little Playboy brooch is pretty cool. A little sort of plasterware fish with these little bubbles to go on the wall in your bathroom. It's a croissant. There's some of the nice little bits of jewellery up the top here. Nice little gold ring. Little heart pendant, bracelets, markers and stuff. And we've got heaps of furniture this week. Nice little sort of Sheridan style, funny little drop side sort of tabley thing. It's a little coat stand, cast iron. Big cooking pot's pretty cool. Mark Selkirk on the lid. Or Falkirk. Little sort of hall tables and cabinets, pedestals. We've got heaps of clothes this week. Some really cool sort of vintage gents and ladies stuff as well. Some great sort of retro 70s stuff that didn't quite make last week. Got two racks full and another rack I'll show you in a minute with some beautiful oriental stuff on it. Another nice little display cabinet tucked away. Stereo gear. Big box of clothes. There's heaps of stuff. Nice little dining suite there. 1920s dining suite with the high back chairs. I like this little Victorian sort of cactus Victorian little hall tables. Nice. Just needs a bit of a clean. It's sort of Jacobean cabinet or something like that there with the space down underneath. Cool little school desk. Another little desk as well. With a lot of sort of bedside tables and stuff. Stereo equipment. Nice big blanket box down there. Nice little sort of retro style coffee table. It's got drawers on the other side as well. He's a great little Astor record player. Which I can't get the lid open for. little bloody clip. There he goes. Look, the rubber's a little bit perished and stuff, but it wouldn't be too difficult to clean up. Good little thing. A little Italian white vinyl little chair, fold-out sort of stool thing. Really like this Douglas Clark 1970s wall hang over the back. Really cool. All screen printed. Some interesting books and mirrors. Scale electric slot car set. Nice little 8mm projector. Some lovely old crates and stuff. Comics. Big retro curtain. Lovely cuckoo clock, actually. Little sort of di dining suite, little table and chair sets. Nice big sort of Victorian style one there with some balloon backs. Heavy cast iron Colebrook Dale style chairs. Here's nice, the Eames style um, armchair there with the footrest. Beautiful little sort of Art Nouveau music cabinet here. It's got hand painted panels over the back as opposed to inlay. It's got lovely little drawers there with the little drop down fronts. There you go. There's a maker's mark in the bottom of this one here. European label only, but that's about all you can read. It's hard to read the rest of it. But it's a beautiful little cabinet. We've got some lovely sort of oriental coats and kimonos and stuff this week as well. It's pretty cool this one. A little two piece outfit there is pretty amazing. Speaking of amazing two-piece outfits, this thing is ace. It's like almost like an Elvis suit. Nice little white painted sort of gents robe there, little guitar and amp, and some nice little Trechikov print up on the wall. Have a nice little display cabinet as well. Cool old school desk here. And heaps of costume jewellery and bits of glass and Australian kids books and a little lot of tins and bottles and stuff. There you go, the lie detector machine which comes in handy in here. A little Coca-Cola phone's pretty cool. Big lot of die casts in their boxes. Some cameras, glass, more cameras. I like, really like this little sewing box actually on the legs. He's really cute. Big cutlery set. Comics, tins, crystal. More comics. Nice old bottle there with the pickaxe mark on it. Big group of mixed items here. Good old Elvis clock. Some nice little sort of novelty um, life preservers. And some little dolls, Nora Welling sort of stuff. 
AFL Sensation 1995, the Sensation Collection. That's it. Limited edition card collection. There's only 10,000 of these in existence. 10,000. Kind of like the little Harndorf train station lamp. Big bit of Van Nichel Australian pottery. Pretty cool little kiss, kiss set there. As we got old storing, a steering wheel and a Japanese sword and some tribally bits and bobs. Dalton figure, Bendigo, more Dalton. Nice little watercolour there of London Bridge down in Warrnambool. Lovely old lolly jar over the back. Nice little lot of pottery. Vic Greenaway, David Williams, etc. Lovely light shades down the bottom there. Really nice. Nice pair of Fenton sort of glass vases. Little chess timing clock. Lovely Napoleon hat clock. A nice big bit of pottery over the back there by John Knighton. From Scatterbrook, Scatterbrook Pottery. Signed with his initials underneath. Nice bit of Tony Sly New Zealand Pottery. Nice bits of Royal Albert. Victorian style ruby glass. Lovely old albumin photograph over the back there of an old mine. Or something like that. So this is a nice little sugar dispenser. Comes out the bottom when you push the knob on the top. Nice little deco vase. Some more Royal Albert. More Fenton. Like this little Australian pottery vase with a lovely little gecko, his little fat tail that's about to drop off if you touch it. <laughs> it's cool. It is signed, but it's difficult to say who made it. Nice little fan. Lovely big bit of lapid, uh, Israeli 1970s pottery. Beautiful Bullock Leyden Co. Um, Scotch decanter. Nice big Nino Peruca charger over the back. Falconware, poker work. Yeah. Heaps of other stuff this week as well. But you're going to have to come in and have a look around to see it. <laughs> Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, you know, bad luck.